Want to learn more about diving with Blue Eye Underwater Drones? Watch the following video to learn how to operate. Before diving, you should always evaluate the conditions on site. Beware of corals and structures, and avoid diving during great currents or thunderstorms. Prepare for launch. Unpack your drone, tether, surface unit, and controller. Place the phone holder on the controller and mount your smartphone inside. Turn on the drone by using the on side of the magnet and hold it against the LED window until a melody is played and the lights start blinking. Turn on the surface unit by pressing the power button. After turning it on, make sure the blue rubber ceiling is properly fitted. Ballast weights are provided to compensate for different water density. Salt water and fresh water require different weights. Remember to always check that the drone floats at the water surface before diving. Next step is to connect the drone and surface unit to the Blue Eye app. When connected, make sure you have 80% battery or more on all your devices. You can check that you're connected to the drone by flashing the LED lights. Press Y on the controller or the light bulb symbol in the app interface. To make sure the 3D drone model has the correct heading in the Blue Eye app, access Compass Offset from the app menu. Align the drone model's heading with the drone in front of you by adjusting the compass offset. Before launching the drone into the water, it's recommended to fasten the bag or the tether reel to something stationary. Launch the drone slowly into the water by its handle. Controlling the drone. You can control the drone either with a controller or directly in the Blue Eye app interface. To control the drone with a controller, hit the A and B button to turn on auto depth and auto heading, and use the right stick to go forwards, backwards, to turn right and left. Decrease or increase the thrust power with the L2 or LT and R2 or RT button on the controller. In the app interface, you'll see the top bar explaining your heading, the bar to the left indicating the depth you're at, and the function buttons to the right for turning lights on and off, turning auto depth and auto heading on and off, plus capturing video or images. With the Blue Eye Pro, you can use the cross button to tilt the camera upwards or downwards. To capture media, press L1 or LB to choose between photo or video mode, and the X button to take a photo or start a video. You can turn the drone in circular movements by pressing the right stick to the left or right. Go upwards or downwards by pushing the left stick upwards or downwards. Lateral movements are easy by using the left stick. Press it to the right or left. For higher precision, press the L2 or LT button at the same time to decrease the thrust power. The Blue Eye Dive Buddy is an additional app which can include multiple spectators on additional iOS or Android devices. Simply head over to the Wi-Fi settings on the device, find the drone's Wi-Fi, and connect. Once connected, open the Blue Eye Dive Buddy app and you'll see the live video stream from the Blue Eye drone. Ending a dive. Before ending the dive, make sure that both auto depth and auto heading are turned off. Retrieve the drone and let the water drain off. To turn off the drone, use the off side of the magnet and hold it against the LED window until the LED lights stop blinking. Turn off the surface unit by pressing the power button. To avoid unnecessary wear on the drone and tether, make sure to rinse the equipment with fresh water after each dive. 
If you have a tether bag, you can rinse the tether inside the bag. Remember to first remove the surface unit. If you use a reel, unroll the used tether and rinse on the ground. Avoid rinsing the surface unit. Transferring media files. To download media files, hit the Transfer Media Files button on the app home screen when connected to the drone and surface unit. Select the files you want to transfer and press Transfer. After the transfer is completed, you'll find the files in your device's media library. Media files can also be transferred to a computer using the Blue Eye File Transfer app for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Learn more on support.blueeye.no.